We ready? Are we ready? Guys, Colin Mottman again, the Scottish English teacher, and I'm back with another video today, and I've brought a friend. Meet. I don't, I don't actually know his name. It's my girlfriend's, um, and I don't even know if he's got a name. Let's call him Scotty for the purpose of the video. And the reason I call him Scotty is because he's from Scotland with his nice tartan jacket, as you can see. And he's gonna help us in today's video because I need students and I need to show you in a visual way how we form this language or how we make the language I'm going to show you today. And the language is all about phrasal verbs connected with school, especially phrasal verbs related to teacher-student communication, yeah? Words that you'll hear the teacher say all the time. It's a pretty simple video. You might have learned the words before. If you haven't, note them down, try and use them, put them in the comments below and Let's see if we can learn something new. Guys, if you want to see more videos like this, more videos with the bear, videos on phrasal verbs, videos on idioms, vocabulary, grammar, I have everything covered for you in this channel and I will have everything covered in the future. Please consider subscribing. So without further ado, sorry for blabbing on, let's get straight into the video. Yeah, this little guy has made a huge mistake. He's made a grave, grave mistake. One second. Now what can you see that's wrong with that? What is actually wrong with that? I has been to Bosnia. Anything to say for yourself, little man? What is that? What is that? I has been to Bosnia. He's clearly, clearly not watched my Present Perfect video. I'll put a link to that above me right now. What can he do to rectify this mistake? I'll tell you exactly what he can do. He can cross it out. Or, if he has one of these, he can rub it out, okay? So, rub out, or like I've done here, cross out. Put a line through your work and start again. If he makes that mistake again, he will never take part in any of my future videos. Now, he could also, he could also make a mistake on the board. I don't have a whiteboard in my house at the moment, but I'm gonna show you exactly what we could do if he made a mistake on the board. So, let's say our board is here, now if he makes a mistake on the board, let's say it's that exact same mistake, I can get him to wipe it off, clean it off, or rub it off. There's three new words for you, okay? And that's just basically this. What do we do? We cleaned it off, we wiped it off, we rubbed it off with our duster. Now he is the teacher at the moment, right? And he's just told me to hand in my work. He's told me to hand my work in, to give my work in. What does he mean? I simply take my book, whatever work I've done for that day, it could be an essay, it could be, it could be exercises, and I basically, I basically give it to him, hand it in. I'm handing my work in, I'm giving my work in. It can also be the other way around, it could be the opposite. As he's the teacher in this case, and he is the teacher, he could hand work out. I'll try and show you that. So he has the book. Can you see him? Uh, and he hands the work out, he gives the work to me. Hand out or give out work. That's your next phrasal verb. And you will hear these guys, you'll hear them all the time in your classroom, so it's worth noting them down, it's worth remembering them. If we see this calculation in the class, and if I ask my students to work it out, what do I mean? Work out the calculation, yeah? Work it out, work this sum out. Now I'm not a math teacher, obviously, but math teachers will ask you to do this. Work out just means to, to, to solve an equation, to calculate numbers, and it can also be used in general day-to-day -day use as well. How am I gonna to get to Prague next week? Work it out, you're a big boy, you, you solve the problem, yeah, fix the problem yourself. So, work it out, what are we doing next? He doesn't speak, a bit of a nightmare. Now you've got a test with 20 questions. This little guy here has got a test with 20 questions. They're all here. Oh, that's work for another video. And I say to him, don't miss any of the questions out. Don't miss out any questions. What do I mean? What do I not want him to do? I don't want him to forget a specific question and leave it, yeah? And I tell this to my students all the time, guys. Don't miss out any questions. So that's for people who are watching as well. Never miss out a question, especially if it's multiple choice because you've got four options, right? A, B, C, and D. It's a 25% chance of getting it correct. So always circle it. I see too many times people missing out questions. So that's the next one. Now finally, if this little guy Scotty is finished for the day. He's got lots of stuff on his desk. He's got a laptop, he's got a bottle, he's got a cup, he's got a mouse. I don't want that mess on my desk at the end of the day. So what do I tell the students? What does your teacher tell you? 
put it away, put your stuff away, put your things away. What does it mean? What do I want them to do? I want them to take all their mess on the table and put it in their original places. So whether that be their pencil case, their school bag, their lunchbox, I want them to put it away. I don't want it on my, I don't want it on my desk. And that's the end of it. Guys, we've come to the end of the video. I want to thank you for sitting around watching. I hope you learned something from today's video. Please subscribe, please like, please share. If you want to see the bear a little bit more, Scotty and his tartan jacket, then I'm sure we can certainly put them in. Now also, could you leave your own examples in the comments below? I want to try and start some discussion on this channel. It'd be really nice to hear your thoughts, uh, what you would like to see, what you want more of. So until the next video, have a great weekend, have a great week. See you later.